Hi, Gary O'Hanlon here for Johnstone Beef. I'm gonna be talking about the beef fillet head today. Now, anybody that follows me at Gaza Chef on Twitter or on Instagram would have seen the video and the stories I did last week using the other end of the fillet head. Cut it up into little medallions and we did a fillet head caprice salad. This is the other half, that, though, the top half that you can do a little bit more with. I just wanna show you how to trim it. So you've got the sinew here like so, and you just want a small little fillet knife or a little bone knife even, but a fillet knife is, is ideal. And we're just gonna get the knife. You just wanna tuck the knife in under the little bit of sinew that's very, very clear. There's very little fat or anything like that. In fact, practically no fat within the fillet, but you do not wanna be cooking a fillet steak or the fillet head in this instance, unless you remove the sinew that you can see right here. Now you just wanna be tucking the knife up and underneath it. Now at this part of the head, there's, it gets a little bit trickier. And I'm gonna show you an, another little maneuver um, to create a nice sort of sized fillet steak. And anyway, so we'll trim it all down. All that excess sinew has to come off. Whenever you cook the fillet steak, then that'll sort of tighten up. And uh, it basically it's inedible, you can't really eat it, you know. So then on the underside, tiny little bit there. So anything that's of a hindrance or is inedible when it comes to a fillet steak is quite visible to the naked eye. You don't need to be a butcher or a chef to know that you need to be opening up a little sinew here and there to find anything bad. Anything that needs to be taken off is quite easy to see, okay? So right in here then again. So as you see now from the fillet head, it's a little bit sort of off shape and what have you, and not like the, the center cut fillet where you're traditionally getting the fillet steak and it's a nice tributor. But I'm gonna show you a little trick that a lot of chefs have used with regards to that cut, okay? So I'm gonna put it down, move this out of the way, and we're gonna season it, okay? So you wanna season it all the way over. with some fine sea salt, okay? And we're gonna take over our cling film. We get this opened up. And this is, this is basically a little trick that all chefs would use, okay? So you're gonna keep your cling film rolled out like so. Gonna get our fillet steak. Now it's key that you season it all the way up so that anything that's within the, the cling film itself, and then tight, tight, tight. You just roll it, you give it four or five good rolls, cut it away, like so. And you've almost created a little tubular effect, like so. And then you cut your fillet steak. And there you have it, perfectly little formed, filet mignons, just from the fillet head. So what you do then, in this instance, you can drop it au poivre. I've got some camp pot pepper that I've crushed here, or salt. I'll season this side now again. Push this into the peppercorn, both sides, and uh, start frying it in the frying pan with the cling film on. Then you'll turn it. And once you get a nice little bit of color, it'll almost start to form its shape. And then the cling film will start to crinkle and you just pop it off and then you seal all the sides and you're left with two, well, beautifully, you're able to present them beautifully, I suppose, is the big thing. Look, the home cook might not care as much, but you know, if you wanted it to sit high and look neat and tidy, just like the fillet would do in the center cut of the fillet, that's a lovely little trick to have in your locker, okay?